Hi, and welcome to video 11 in the Ableton Tips and Tricks video series. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to route MIDI into Pro Tools, and then convert that MIDI into audio. So this is going to be a multi-step video, it's going to be a very long process, so make sure you've got a little bit of time on your hands so you can catch everything for this demonstration. If you've seen the last 10 videos, you may have noticed in my doc that I had these two icons. Both of these are Pro Tools 10 and Pro Tools 11, respectively. The reason I use Pro Tools is because, one, it's the industry standard for audio engineering, and two, is because the audio quality sounds amazing. Three, is because if I collaborate with someone and they give me an audio stem, what I want to be able to do is if sometimes play either a piano part via MIDI into Pro Tools, or I want to play a synth patch over that into Pro Tools that isn't RTAS or AAX. The way I do this is through the rewire application. So that being said, let me show you how this works. What I'm first going to do is go into Pro Tools, launch it, which it is. And one thing to mention also, launch Pro Tools before Ableton. Pro Tools is going to serve as the master application where everything is going to be routed. Ableton will be launched after this and serve as the slave application. So I'm going to go up to Track, New create a new stereo instrument track and press create. So now we have a new instrument track. I'm going to call this sub bass because that is what I'm going to be routing inside to Pro Tools. So now that that's ready, I go up to the inserts AE window and inserts in Pro Tools are plugins. It's just a different name. So I select the first insert, multi-channel plugin, instrument, and then I go down and I find Ableton Live Stereo and I select that. Now Rewire is enabled inside Pro Tools and it is now the master application. Ableton Live is recognized and now what I can do is select any buses if I have more than one synth or more than one piece of MIDI I want to route inside here. But in this case all I'm going to do is select Mix L, Mix R. Now what I'm going to do is create another track. This time it's going to be a stereo audio track. I'm going to press create. What Pro Tools is really good at doing is bus mixing and bus routing. Uh, it's some of the best I have seen in any application. And what I'm going to do is for my sends, I'm going to select bus, bus 9, 10 stereo, because some of my others are routed for other projects I have been working on. So bus 9, 10 is available and I'll be using this. A new track window opens up for this bus. I'm going to select zero and pull the fader up to zero dB and close this window. Then in audio one, I'm going to rename this uh, sub bass bounce because this is where the audio is going to go. In the IO section of Pro Tools, instead of Sapphire, I'm going to go down to bus and select bus 910. So the MIDI is going to be routed from this track and then bounce into audio on the sub bass bounce track. Now what we do is go into Ableton Live 8 Suite. Now what I can do is press play and it does play but it's not going to go into Pro Tools because we haven't routed it yet. So what we have to do is go audio two in the IO window, select rewire out and select the bus. And in this case, it'll be mix L R. Now what we do is once more, we go back to pro tools, record enable both. Now I'm going to go to the edit window inside pro tools. And I'm going to press global record, which is the exact same thing as global record in Ableton Live. Finally, what I'm going to do is go back to Ableton Live and press play.
So now it has been recorded into Pro Tools. What I'm going to do again is record another take, but this time instead I'm going to just show Pro Tools. I'm going to press play in Ableton and then go straight back to Pro Tools to show the recording once more and show you the process and how it's done. So we go back to Ableton, I'm going to press play, and then go back to Pro Tools. All right, so now the MIDI has now been recorded as audio. And the really cool part about this is that now it's in audio. What I can do now in Pro Tools is do things like Elastic Audio, or I can edit the audio any way I want. But the really cool part now is that I have Ableton MIDI that has now been converted to audio, which can now be used inside Pro Tools. Pro Tools does have MIDI functionality, so if I wanted to, I could actually export MIDI and I could use it inside Pro Tools. The MIDI functionality is good, but Pro Tools is mainly focused on audio. But now I have audio that I can work with inside Pro Tools. So that concludes this tutorial. Uh, I apologize if this was extremely complicated, but that being said, this is the simplest way I found to route MIDI into audio for use inside Pro Tools by a rewire. So that, We'll wrap up this video, and again, thanks for staying with me, and hopefully being able to get something out of this. Take care.